Hello! Now, if you've clicked on this video, then you most likely fly a drone in the UK or are thinking about getting one. For most people, they just grab their drone and head out flying, uh, but for me and many other people, we like to try and do things just by the book as that gives us confidence whenever or wherever we fly. So today, I'm going to be giving you five tips for flying in the UK or anywhere really that will make your flight safe, legal and more enjoyable. So please hit that like, subscribe button and let's get into this video. Quickly before we start, you're going to want to brush up on the laws quickly and there's already a great video on this called Drone Laws in the UK in under 10 in under 8 minutes by a YouTuber called Geeks Vanna which you can find in the description. So check that out before coming here but if you know your stuff then let's go on with tip number one. Number one. Download and get in the habit of using the Drone Assist app by Altitude Angel. This one is specific to the UK, but there should be an equivalent app in your country. This app is great for checking no flight zones as well as no TAMs, which is notice to airmen. It's good to get in the habit of this every time you fly, but you can also set up a flight plan letting people know the area in which you're flying, the specific time and the purpose of your flight. You'll even have a recreational or commercial option before you start. This covers you for liability and lets the world of airspace and aircraft know what's happening. Another tip for you when you do this is if you are just outside an FRZ, a flight restriction zone, then a good thing to do is contact the ATC, air traffic control, and just let them know that you're in the area flying, but you're coming nowhere near the airport. This just lets them relax if they pick you up on anything, and they'll appreciate the call as well as the fact you've introduced yourself, and this helps if you plan any other flights in the future in that area. Okay, number two, if you're fairly new to flying, the best thing you can do to improve your confidence and encourage the visual line of sight code is always try and land the drone yourself. Return to home is a great feature for certain moments, but it can easily go wrong and result in crashes sometimes. So it's good to just cover yourself for any potentially fatal crashes, as well as keep your drone in good nick and improve your flying capabilities. So that's just a little one for you there. Okay, number three is mainly for if you're filming commercially and it's a bit of a sneaky two-parter. The first is to make sure to get the minimum of your flyer ID and operator ID along with insurance for the drone. I insured my drone when I worked freelance for a year and it only cost me £9 a month. If you're hesitant over what the price may be, it's not that much. If you're flying frequently and you're starting to get work in built-up areas, then I suggest looking into getting your A2 and GVC. With this, I would also suggest avoiding doing these courses online as it can prove to be extremely tedious and take a while, especially if you're already working full-time. Here at EDC, we can take you from beginner to pro. Your CAA qualifications are taken care of by a company we work with called Professional Drone Training, whose website will be down in the description. After that, we offer specific industry courses for drone uses such as 2D and 3D mapping, adding control points, presenting information to clients, and manual flying skills. All this can be taught at our training facility in Fife, where we've got lots of room and it's all ours, so feel free to get in contact with more information on this. So the second part to this tip, once you've got fully licensed up as it were, is to get in the routine of making a flight operations plan. This document covers you for liability and should include a detailed flight plan with geographical coordinates, a risk assessment, specs and info of all drones that are planned to be used, along with contact information. There is a link to a document that we use, so please feel free to download it and take a bit of inspiration. If the document does help you in any way, then please let us know and make sure to hit that subscribe button for thanking us for helping you out. Number four is a big one that you need to be careful with, and that's takeoff permission. At the end of the day, this isn't really the CAA's rules. This is basic trespassing laws. If you don't have permission to be on certain land, then you can't take off on that land. In terms of council owned land, that's something you need to bring up with the local council, so again, permission is still needed. There is a way of flying drones in public parts if you become a member of FPV UK and stick to the basic drone rules, and, but that is only for recreational flying, not commercial, but it's still something definitely to look into. Now, number five is generally just a bit of self-awareness and remembering to take a step back and think, is what I'm doing here okay and does it feel right? The CAA are big ambassadors of just culture and if there was even a major problem, they expect you to justify that everything you've done is correct and safe. But I believe if you follow every tip from this video, you will be in the best place to justify your flight mission with zero to no liability. 
Now, this all goes back to Article 241. A person must not recklessly or negligently cause or permit an aircraft to endanger any person or property. At the end of the day, the best thing you can do is get the minimum qualifications if you're a hobbyist and stick to the basic rules. If you fly more frequently commercially and in congested areas with a potentially larger drone, then we suggest getting your A2 and GVC, but again, still stick to the basic rules. I hope all this helps summarise and minimise confusion with flying drones in the UK. And whether you're doing it as a bit of fun or to help your business, if you're confident in what you're doing is right and loud, then it's going to be a much more enjoyable experience. Please send any questions down in the comments and we'll be happy to start a conversation about the crazy world of flying drones in wherever you are or specifically in the UK. And also please remember to subscribe and like as it always helps us grow and continue to bring fun and informative videos straight to you.